Okay, Leo, this is going to be a general reading for you guys for next week. And I'm back to recording and uploading instead of going live. I tried going live last week, and it doesn't really get as many views. I'm not sure if people like it or not. I liked it. That was a little more fun. I was offering uh, free little quick readings at the end of them, and a little fun. All right. I might go live on the weekend ones that I do, you know, the ones I do in between the weeklies. But okay, and who knows, I might go live later in the week um, with these, I don't know. All right, so for Leo for next week. My name is Jill, by the way, for those that don't know. All right, wisdom. Okay, to focus on the past is to lose the future. Heed advice from an older person, which will allow you to move on. Okay, so I'm going to do a few oracle cards here, and then uh, tarot. I'm going to use a spirit animal here also, oracle. These cards are just so huge. Jeez. Horse. Freedom. Okay says your heart is pure and free a greater purpose calls you you have unlimited reserves of stamina and strength you follow the winds of change and accomplish your dreams nice I don't remember seeing this one but I'm sure I haven't used pulled every card out of that deck so actually and I'm doing one romance oracle Instead of, I was doing them at the end before, but I'm doing them now because at the end I'm going to pull one extra tarot from a different deck like I used to do. Okay. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Okay. So, for Leo, for this next week. So, next week. Upcoming week. And uh, if you guys wouldn't mind subscribing, share, like, all that kind of good stuff, I'd appreciate it. And uh, with you subscribing, hopefully, you know, should be able to help me pick up a little bit more on your energy. So each sign has a power color, and yours is orange. And I've been telling people, and I, I know I've said it before, but if there's anything like you want to see me do readings on, any different type of topics or anything else, or if you want to just see me do something different, or go back to live readings that I did last week, you can always let me know in the comments. I know most people don't really like to comment. Okay. So, make sure it's not cut off. And All right. So, there. These cards are so hard to see. I'm not sure why I use this deck. It's probably why I don't usually use it. I forget it's hard to see. So, there's air signs here, earth signs, fire. And I'm just looking at the cards here for a second. Virgo stands out. Gemini stands out. And Libra stands out. And there are, let's see, I see a couple fours. I'm looking really hard at these cards since they're hard to see. <laughs> yeah. 
you know, this there's been a lot of fours and fives coming out, but so the number four is stability, foundations, leaps of faith. And you start off here, you have the four of swords. So that shows that maybe you need to recharge your batteries. Some of you might be mentally exhausted. I don't know, some of you could even be recovering from something, but you might need a vacation, you know, like to get some rest or something. Maybe you need a break. So it shows time to regroup. Now next up, you have the Hermit. So in the position that it is in, though, I don't know if it's a little bit of an issue or something <clears throat> with you, like carving out time for yourself. I don't know if it's on your mind or something, but it, it's about self-discovery. And again, it's about needing a break or taking a break. So maybe that's what the issue is. Maybe you need a break. But uh, some of you might be doing some type of, maybe there's spiritual study or maybe you're becoming a wise mentor or something. But um, the card also means that it's, there's no true love with a partner unless you love yourself first. And also can indicate, you know, like maybe it's saying like become a little more independent and make your own way. <clears throat> Next up here, there goes my voice. <clears throat> All these readings, <clears throat> sorry, but <clears throat> I have to clear it. I'm so, I kind of don't feel like pausing every time I have to clear my voice. But I know it's annoying. I just have some tea there. All right. So next up. Okay. Queen of Pentacles here. So this shows uh, security, abundance. It shows um, someone who likes to help others, and also shows that you like you, you have resources or you're good at getting resources or something. You're good at gathering resources, and it shows that you know, the type of person is like a hardworking person also. But yeah, it's part of security, abundance. So next up, you do have the lovers here. So with this, this is showing, uh, it can be true love or deep friendships, but it's a card about uh, unions and relationships, passion and loyalty. So for some of you, this can be about, maybe there's an important decision to be made. And if so, it just says to, to make choices from the heart. And for some of you, you know, this could be that new partnerships are likely. So maybe a new partner comes in and it ends up being your true love. It's also a card of health and healing. So maybe, you know, shows that you're healing. Okay. Next up, Prince of Wands here. So with this, this is shows good news that comes in swiftly. You know, it can also mean travel for some of you. And uh, usually indicates somebody who's, now I just mentioned, right, um, didn't I just, yeah, I just mentioned new partnerships. Maybe it's somebody, I don't know if this person might be just, or maybe somebody around, it's something to do with somebody who's a little younger, maybe, than you. But anyways, this that's just a side note. So this can be also shown that maybe you're going to have like this heightened imagination or this new level of focus. Maybe you have it now or you're about to. Okay, so next up here, this is the four of wands. So this, so being that I talked about true love and all that, it looks like that plans for marriage for some of you. Um, can It can be, <clears throat> it can also be that satisfied with what you've accomplished so far with things. And it's also like shows like kind of like maybe celebrating good times ahead. It's also a card, some would say, kind of like of being free. Kind of freedom and being free, but... Some of you maybe you're gonna get this like a newfound zest for life. So next up you have justice here. 
All right, so with justice, that's showing to be fair, be reasonable. Stand up for what you believe, but be fair and reasonable. And if you're going through anything in the courts or legal or any of that, it does show that justice will be served as long as you're being fair and reasonable. So if any of you have a custody suits or domestic disputes, those look like it will come to a head. And uh, look, uh, looks like things should go in your favor. Also, it's about uh, be cautious and thorough before signing any contracts. So I'll just keep that in mind. Okay, next up here is the Four of Pentacles. So this, okay, so this is protecting your resources. So it could be managing resources wisely or not wisely, you know, so it could be like like you're holding on a bit too tightly to things too, it can, it can show. And like maybe you don't really feel like sharing right now. You're holding things tightly to your chest and you don't feel like sharing. Um, also, it's about making smart business decisions. And another note, another meaning is don't let power or greed corrupt you. For some of you have something like, like you have this, you have power and responsibilities. So <clears throat> some of you have, you know, impressive resources. So just, yeah, just don't let the power of greed corrupt you. So next up here, you do have the five of wands. So there might be some conflicts or differences of opinions. And if so, it's saying to walk away. That it's not really like a, not really a time to present new ideas. And if it's something that you do have to do, then it says try a different way of presenting it. Some of this can be power struggles or setbacks with something. Okay, so at the end here, I'm, like I said, I'm pulling one more uh, tarot out of a different deck here. Kind of like I'm calling it my clarifying card here, just to kind of clarify the reading here or anything that needs clarified. This is how I did it when I started doing this on here seven months ago. So I'm just going to do that, do it this way this week and see. All right. Eight of Swords. Okay. So for some of you, it looks like you may be feeling trapped. Maybe you're feeling restricted or even some of you kind of like isolation. Um, it shows that you may have some fear and anxiety. Some might even lack a little self-confidence, it shows. But uh, if you're worrying a lot, this constant worrying can make you feel like powerless. So just this just says to remain calm and strong is what this advice is. All right, you guys. Again, if you wouldn't mind subscribing, sharing, like, all that kind of good stuff, I'd appreciate it. Again, it can help me pick up on your energy a little more. And um, it, another video should be popping up. You guys might want to check it out. All right, you guys. Thanks a lot for watching. I appreciate it.